Hello everyone, my name is Fajrat and today we are going to discuss about the analyze phase in DMAC. So as uh, we already know, DMAC is an acronym for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve and Control. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the third one, that is the analyze phase, right? So uh, let, let's uh, discuss a bit about uh, DMAC first. Uh, though there are previous videos uh, which you can watch, I'll paste the link as well. But to give you a brief, uh, uh, DMAC is a streamlined problem solving methodology used in various organizations for process improvement by identifying the root cause of the problem and implementing uh, the corrective actions. So we basically go ahead and root cause and then solutions. So this is what DMAC is all about. So in today's video, uh, we are going to discuss about the analyze phase, which comes after the measure, measure phase. And uh, by the end of the analyze phase, the root cause of the problem is identified, validated, and the solutions can be uh, developed to address uh, the root cause that we identify. So, uh, analyze phase mein hum majorly kya karte hai? Analyze phase mein hum pehla we go ahead and uh, root cause and then the potential solutions to it. So this is what we are going to discuss today. So, the <clears throat> analyze phase hai, that is divided into a various steps. Uh, the first one is uh, validating the measurement system. Now, if we have attention, we have the previous video, hai, right? Uh, measure phase mein hum data collect karte hai, right uh, to check if the data collected in measure phase is accurate we go ahead and validate the measurement system and because incorrect data collection could lead to incorrect analysis and uh, which could cause a setback in the process and ultimately lead to an incorrect solutions. So, what happens if the data collected is wrong or incorrect, then our analysis will be wrong. And when we reach the root cause, it will be wrong. And when the solutions will be wrong, it will be wrong. Hence, to avoid all this, we go ahead and validate the measurement system, right? So, how we go ahead and do it? We go ahead and uh, determine the equipment's accuracy and precision. Calibration and repeatability test can also be done, right? So, we look accuracy, dekhte hai, precision, and calibration or reproducibility or repeatability uh, check kar lete hain uske liye taaki hamara measurement system validate ho jaye uske alawa hum data sampling techniques ko bhi check karte hain ki hum data collect kaise kar rahe hain how is our data collected and is the data collected representative of the process agar ye sample nikala hai so is it representing the entire population or not so we we have validate with them and we go ahead and verify the data accuracy the second step that is there in this phase that's the analyze phase is determine the root cause Now, we the second step, karenge, we are going to, in the analyze phases, to go ahead and check the root cause of the problem. 
And this is the central point of any DMAC process or DMAC methodology. So finding the root cause allows us to develop a long-term solution instead of a short-term. So if I have the root cause right identify kara, to mujhe long term solutions milenge rather than short term solutions okay and uh, also apart from this uh, root cause analysis can be done by various methods a few uh, like cause and effect diagram या हम परेटो चार्ट यूज कर सकते हैं या हम स्टैटर डायग्राम भी यूज कर सकते हैं सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द सिचुएशन देयर आर नो सेट रूल्स और गाइडलाइंस दैट यू ओनली हैव टू यूज दिस और दिस और दिस सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द रिक्वायरमेंट एनी वन ऑफ दीस टूल्स कुड बी यूज Okay, so after we go ahead and determine uh, the root cause, we go ahead and identify the potential solutions. So, we have root cause ka pata lag gaya hai. So, root cause pata karne ke baad hum solutions ko dekhenge. And uh, potential solutions, uh, it 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 has to be innovative. Uh, creativity will come into play here, right? So we can use uh, uh, techniques like brainstorming here, or uh, there is another one that's called nominal group technique. So potential potential solutions निकालेंगे हम brainstorming से या nominal group techniques है, okay? And after the potential solutions are being identified, we go ahead and do a, we go ahead and perform a cost benefit analysis. अब ये क्यों? Cost benefit analysis इसलिए किया जाता है कि the cost of implementing the solution कितना है? अगर यहाँ से एक solution निकला है, सोच के देखिए x ये मेरा एक सल्यूशन है अगर मैं इसको इंप्लीमेंट करता हूं तो कितने पैसे लगेंगे मेरे राइट right. सो so, हम करते क्यों है कि सल्यूशन डेवलप एक तो लॉन्ग टर्म हो सेकंडली वो कॉस्ट बेनिफिट भी होना चाहिए एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि वी आर स्पेंडिंग टू मच ऑन दैट सल्यूशन सो इट शुड बी कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव एज वेल so to conclude today's session, uh, the analyze phase of DMAC is essential in problem solving. And uh, using the four steps uh, that I highlighted above, that's validating the measurement system, determining the root cause, identifying the potential solutions, and performing the cost benefit analysis. So these were the four steps that we discussed. The analyze phase can be completed with ease, and this can lead to the realization of a more efficient process, product, or maybe a service. So with that being said, we come to an end to this video. I hope uh, you understood the analyze phase in the DMAC methodology. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.